Hello everybody, Orca79 here and welcome back to the next episode in the part time to big time save. I uh, hope you're enjoying it again as usual, uh, really enjoying making this for you. Uh, so let me just quickly go back from the housekeeping from the last episode. Uh, so I think it was a 5-3 demolition, I think we're going to call it a demolition even though we conceded three goals of Millwall wasn't it? Uh, let's just look back, Vale, Twine, Richards, Vale, Twine. It just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? They were lucky to get three, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, so yeah, so that uh, that happened. That was uh, sending a little bit of a bounce back after some poor uh, runs of form. Uh, so then we had Crew away, uh, tricky fixture, but we only managed to win two nil. Uh, Dean Cornelius with two goals. Let me just put the goals on for you, because if I remember rightly, the second goal was a particularly uh, if I click on that, will it take me to it? Yeah, watch this goal from Cornelius here. A little bit of a head tennis in the box, gets bounced around, kind of recycled back to the left wing eventually. Uh, Amanqua to Ford, lovely back to Amanqua. Watch this now. Bang! I mean, what a finish that is. Shades of Paolo Di Canio in the, the technique there. Uh, yeah, straight through the keeper, straight in the back of the net. So that's a 2-0 uh, win. And then we had the Pointless Johns Trophy, uh, a game in which some of the, uh, the youngsters came in, 6R4 and uh, Paul M85. Paul M85 actually started uh, and he scored. Uh, 6R4 started as well. Paul M uh, scored and as we battered them really, uh, they scored in the 74th minute undeserved. It went to penalties and we managed to beat them on penalties. Not something I was really particularly bothered about winning, but uh, we got 20,000 for it nonetheless. So here we are with the Forest Green game in the FA Cup, see if we progress to the third round. Uh, this is one I do want to win. And then we're going to do the Sunderland game as well, I think, aren't we? For the second episode, uh, sorry, second save of the episode. So uh, here is what we're going to roll with for the uh, Forest Green game. Jarosh in nets as usual, Adabaju, Carter... Wilkie and Samuels in defence. Lewis Nielsen's uh, so he's a little bit of a rest, so we're going to give him this, this game off. Uh, Matt Smith, Sonny Perkins and Iroga Bonham in midfield. Herbie Kane is back from his injury. Uh, he, he's played particularly well for us since, he's, uh, since he joined. But he's back from his injury now, so he's just spending a little bit of time with the under 23s. <coughs> Excuse me. Try and get some game time, some fitness back, and then he'll be, he'll be a straight slot back into that, uh, that position. Uh, Twine in the hole uh, behind Jack Vale and Aaron Presley because Rodell Richards is still struggling with. Uh, oh, he's got the flu. So I've sent him home so it doesn't infect everyone else. You know, it, it, patient zero. Uh, he is at home recovering. I said Nielsen's kind of rest. Sonny Cox, 75 minutes of action, so he's more or less there. So we'll probably give him a little bit of time for Presley later on in the game. So let's get to it. See if we can progress to round three. Uh, I think as the round three has it been drawn the next fixtures I think it has hasn't it oh no so it's going to be drawn after this so we'll you never know we might uh, if we draw a big boy we'll be very happy so let's get into it Very quiet start here, but here we go with the first highlight of the game. As we've won the ball back and are attacking down the wing again. Elvis Presley to Twine. Twine with a shot from outside the area. Twine has got the opposition defence in knots. <laughs> and he's bulleted that in to the back of the net there. Let's have a look. Acres of space, there's no closing down. The, I mean, the Forest Green players, to be fair, probably can't see each other with that kit on. It's a ridiculous kit. You remember the, the famous United grey kit? <coughs> where they had to, did they change it at half time in Southampton or something like that? Complain they couldn't see each other when passing the ball. I mean, you know, if you're in a green grass, you know, you're not going to see each other in a green kit. But, uh, you know, that's just me. I, I'd have that changed.
This one's developing, looks like it's developing to a forest green highlight. Are they going to strike back relatively quickly? Butterworth, I wonder if that's the Dan Butterworth who used to play for Blackburn, it could well be. We've cleared that away and counter attacking now, it's a ball over the top to Vale. And it's a tame finish for someone who's in such good form. Expected better though, if I'm being honest. Here we are again. This looks like it hopefully coming straight back Forest Green's way. Samuels, who's looks like he's took a little bit of a knock, his fitness has dropped somewhat. But he's crossed that in and Presley over the bar. But it's one way traffic here at the moment, which we're obviously not complaining with. Samuels again and Vale that time, and that's the mark of a man who has just scored his 15th league goal of the season with a bullet header. And again, £8,000 it cost me. You don't have to spend big money to get big results at this level. Uh, Jack Vale has been an absolute bargain. A bullet of a header. Tapping himself. We're going to get an offside check here. A waste of a five seconds of my life replaying that. We could have been on to the next highlight as far as I'm concerned there. We're 2 0 up. Seven shots on target from nine, from ten efforts. So we're, we're getting accurate, and uh, we're certainly we can look at uh, 10 minutes and bringing on a few possible uh, substitutions to rest some legs that may be getting up there in tiredness. Certainly Samuels, uh, as, I, as I speak, a very prophetic, let's hope that's not too bad, was it say, a potential foot injury. I hope it's nothing too serious, so we'll bring on Brooking for that. That's a little bit disappointing. I was about to sub him in about 10 minutes time anyway. Uh, if that's serious, I'll be fuming. Sonny Cox will be entering the fray shortly. I'll bring him on for Presley. Uh, let's bring on Matt Smith's having a particularly poor game. So let's bring Cornelius on for Smith. And we'll bring Sonny Cox on for... Elvis Presley uh -huh. and see if we can see this out and we'll see who we get in the next round might do the third round draw actually I'll I'll stay on uh, on camera and on film after this game if we uh, if we manage to see it out and I'll do the third round draw we'll check up on uh, the injury to Samuels I so hope that's nothing too serious and we'll see who we get in the third round in a live kind of draw scenario. Not like Rod Stewart's famous draw in the Scottish Cup. Not quite as uh, dramatic as that, but I'm sure some of you might like it. Brooking gone down the left there. And that's... Oh, it's got... It's given offside. The strange attempt at a finish there from Jack Vale. Don't need a goal here in Forest Green to make it a nervous last five minutes when they haven't even been in the game at all. It oof, just goes wide. Yes, it's undeserved. Even the, the, the most ardent Forest Green fan would begrudgingly admit they deserve nothing from this game. Nothing. Cornelius burst into the box. Another shot on target. Can we crack 10 shots on target? This game, we're on nine. Stays at nine, but 2 0 win, which I'm sure you will all agree was never really in doubt. And I think we play Forest Green next in the league, so uh, that might just give them something to think about. So let's just stay on uh, camera instead of taking things offline. Let's just check on Samuels. A twisted ankle, three to six weeks, so that's not ideal. Especially with his usual understudy, uh, Daniel Harvey's got a hamstring strain. So that's 34.66. It's a very specific figure for winning the second round. Uh, let's just look at the scouting updates that come through. So let's see, I think, uh, the draw will be happening very shortly. So let's just see 
what happens in the draw. I think it's happening on Monday, is it the 11th? And then we'll play the Forest Green offline, the second game here. The under-23s with an impressive 4-1 win. Gav Moo with a goal. A.B. Bullen with a goal. Lewis Johnson uh, with two goals. Who else? Anyone else play from the... Uh, Powell M came on. I lives here. Six of what the, they're getting game time. These youngsters, uh, so hopefully they can uh, just see them getting their professional career would be nice. Making it in the professional game would be ideal. Uh, the Blondie Noku, our old keeper from Chorley. Oh, Chorley are twenty second in the Banarama National League. They are struggling this year. Let's just have a quick look at some of the. Uh, the players you've got, Owen Bar Connor Hall still there, Calvary still there from our time at the club, Bond in the coup we bought him, other than oh, Henley's still there injured, he was injury prone we were there. So not a lot of players remain. Brandon Lonsdale, did we bring him in? I want to think we did from Blackburn yet. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so struggling a little bit, which is always always sad. Once your old clubs do well. well I mean it kinda vindicates the job I was doing for him. Doesn't it really? Uh, without me, they've kind of gone the wrong way, but I don't want to blow my own horn or anything like that. So let's just see the English. Here we go. Let's view the draw. 65 teams go into the hat for 32 matches to be drawn with Premier Division teams entering the competition. So I'd like, let's just make up some celebrity. Let's say Tim Sherwood and I reckon Emmanuel Petit are doing this draw live on Sky. Jeff Wednesday versus Burton, Middlesbrough versus Tottenham, Wolves versus Plymouth, Aston Villa versus Blackpool, Leicester versus Lincoln City or Accrington Stanley, Watford versus Oxford, the Battle of the Forwards, Bournemouth versus Burnley. Mm. I mean, we're rooting for Bournemouth on that one, aren't we? Cheltenham versus Peterborough, Blackburn. Versus Newcastle. That's a that's a good game for uh, for Rovers. Charlton. Newcastle always bring the away. They always fill the away end. Fantastic travelling support. Charlton versus Brighton. Battle of the Tons. Notts Forest. I mean, you you wanted Forest Green. It was not about the Battle of the Forest. Would have been uh, fantastic. Like some kind of siege from Middle Earth. Leeds versus Grimsby. Notts County versus West Brom. Swansea versus Rotherham. Arsenal, they are in purple because they are our senior affiliate. I negotiated that a few weeks ago. So basically it's easier for me to sign players on loan from them. So hopefully we might be able to get a couple of... Uh, if, if we manage to get promoted to the championship. And hopefully we might be able to get uh, two or three of the really promising youngsters on loan for the season. That would really help. Versus Reading. West Ham versus Everton in an old premiership tie. No mouthwatering ties yet. Coventry versus Walking. Doncaster versus Crystal Palace. Bristol City, is it going to be Bristol Rovers? Are they in? No, nope, it's Wrexham. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney is Wrexham. Norwich. Oh, whoops, which would have been the tie there? Versus Crewe. Shrewsbury versus Millwall. Stoke, Port Vale still in it. Oh, it's Preston. Chef United, I think Chef Wednesday are already out, aren't they? I'm sure, I've seen them. Fulham, I mean, Man U F C versus Liverpool or City is a tie here. Derby. Wayne Rooney still managed Derby on this game. Uh, manage it. Wayne Rooney does goes back to uh, Man United there. Chelsea versus Liverpool. That's the tie of the round. That's the one where all the uh, Tim Sherwood and Emmanuel Petit have just gone. Ooh. That's that's the one that's going to be shown live on uh, BBC. Hull. Versus Bradford. And we've got a home tie. We've got a home tie, people. And we are versus Cardiff. Cardiff of the Championship. Seventh in the Skybet Championship. So that will uh, be a good test for us, that one. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so let's just finish out the draw. We might as well. Carlisle versus Huddersfield. Walsall versus Wigan. Who's left in it? We've got Brentford, Man City and Southampton from the Premier League. Barnsley versus Brentford, Birmingham versus Man City, and obviously it's Ipswich versus Southampton. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes 
the draw for the FA Cup. The ties will be played sometime the first week in January. Thank you very much. So that is what we have done there. So I will take, probably take that, a home tie against Cardiff. That should be good. So I hope you enjoyed that draw, a little bit something different. So what, there's been a fixture rearrangement here. Barnsley game has been rearranged. It's nothing too bad. It's not, not changed our immediate fixtures, has it? No, so we've still got the Forest Green game, which I'll play now offline, and the Sunderland game, which we'll play uh, online to conclude the episode. And then we'll come back uh, probably... I haven't given the fixtures yet for it, has it? I imagine it's probably around there. So I'll maybe come back for one of the FA Cup games, certainly, and maybe the other one round about there. Okay, okay, so I'll pick it up after Forest Green. Okay, so here we are back for the second game of the save, of the episode, sorry. Uh, I'm sure what happened in the last game with Forest Green. It was a 1 1 draw. Uh, we took the lead. Uh, oh, no, we didn't. Sorry, we went behind uh, Adams. She was in the stroke of half time, and then Smith equalised just after half time. Stat sure it was a close game, but we seemed to be in front for a lot of it, and then all of a sudden they had. In the space of 10 minutes, you had about kind of six shots on target, which kind of made it easier. But the stats say it was a close game. They had more possessions than us, so, so which is weird. They didn't particularly play very well. So uh, I guess a draw was a fair result. Uh, but anyway, let's go on to the game. We're struggling now. It's the Christmas period. We're struggling with fitness. We've got four people on the treatment table. Adabajo. Out for two weeks, a pulled hamstring. Samuels, you were fullback, out for three weeks with a twisted ankle. Harvey, the reserve fullback, out for three weeks with a hamstring. And McEnough has gone treatment table today with a cold. I mean, go figure. Uh, also, Herbie Kane's coming back. He's 45 minutes fitness test. Nielsen needs a rest. Uh, Cox is back, but he's got 75 minutes. He gets a start today. Perkins is, oh, honestly, I don't know, look, look at the, the condition we are against us a little bit. So it's going to be a tough one. Uh, so the game's come thick and fast. So what, what I mean after this, what have we got? So we've got a game on Saturday, then it's Wednesday, then it's Saturday, then it's Tuesday, then it's Saturday, then it's Monday. That's crazy. Then it's Saturday and then Wednesday, Saturday. So it, it's not letting up. We are going to be in this position for a while. Uh, so it's, we're just going to have to fight through it. I mean, you know, a lot of the other teams are in the very same position, so we can't uh, complain too much. But here we go. So this is the side. Jerosh, Aman in at right back. Carter, Wilkie and Brooking at left back. Smith, Perkins and Aroga Bonham in the midfield. Twine behind Vale and Cox. Richards is now back from flu, uh, but he's still feeling the effects. So I mean, anything could happen in this game. We could, hopefully Sunderland are of a similar kind of physical condition that we are. Uh, and we'll kind of counteract that out and it'll just go on whoever's better on the day but I would probably likely think that we are struggling a little bit for fitness is there an option to view a Sunderland I mean I don't know how we would know how fit they are but that's showing all 100% fitness I wonder if that changes throughout the game to kind of reflect it because if that is the case and they are all 100% fitness, then I would imagine we are in for a, a hiding on this uh, this game. But here we are anyway. On what would seem on the attack, Smith. I mean, there's a ball wide there, and we've lost it. And as, as I say, it would seem we're on the attack. All of a sudden, we're backtracking 40 yards and conceding a goal to. The ex excellently named Lorenco Troncoso, Argentinian, come from Colon. So you can find worse things in your Colon, I'm sure. And that's, he's not scored many goals throughout his career, but he's obviously, obviously scored against us. And I mean, uh, look at the stats 15 minutes gone, five shots on target already. This could be, as I feared, a long, long day at the office for us. One that you'd wish you'd have called in sick and had a duvet day. Is this going to get disallowed? Absolutely not. Let's move on, please. Pointless replay. And this could be, this could be uh, an embarrassing result for us, I'm fearing. 
I just haven't got. There's just been so many games and, and so many injuries to players. I cannot rotate as much as I'd like to. People are having to play through the fatigue. Like some sort of SAS test, this. And Manquas down the wing, he's gone inside to Smith, and that's crossed in. And again, it's cleared away by Sunderland. We are applying a little bit of pressure, which is good to see. As Brooking comes inside, and he tucks that one away. What a finish by Josh. Is he the, the yeah, Chelsea pedigree, Josh Brooking? Uh, his average rating is, has been above seven for his entire career. So that's that's a good sign. And that's a good goal. Inside to Tim, to Sonny, to Brooking. He's thrown the defender a dummy and he's placed a perfect. That's the advantage, I guess, of having a right footer playing the left back role. He can cut in and slot beyond the keeper. And I mean, 1 1 now. Yep, yeah, yes, please. Look at me, look at the condition of my players compared to the green of Sunderland and the kind of autumnal beige of the uh, the hearts of the MK Dons players. But Iroga Van Arm has won this back and it's infield to our mid. It's pretty. Cox in. Cox is. Is he onside? There must have been a question mark over it. Oh, he was offside. Jeez, how close was it? He needed that, did Cox? I mean, he is off. Oh, that would have been just. Just what the doctor ordered. But nevertheless, Matt Smith looks like he's given everything in the 37 minutes. I mean, I'd like to question the fact he's given everything after 37 minutes. I'm sure he can give a little more. Twine to Smith. He's given everything. He didn't give a finish, did he? When the other side of the goal appeared to be gaping, Smith decided to try and Slot it in at the near post on a rather tame effort. Cox to. Uh, no. Trunk up. There's a bit of I could see that guy going down the right then. I could see him burst in from midfield. That should be. Yes, we've, we've cleaned that one up. Which is good to see. A facility at the back now. Brooking, which will now, of, of course, now be known as Trevor going forward. Forest Huggins, that's an excellent name, has crossed that in and who's beaten? Is that a manqua? It is. I mean Scott just wanted that more. I mean to be fair he may have had the run on Imanqua. Uh and this who possibly had a standing leap. But I mean is you'd say he's in the right position there, you'd argue he's in the right position there. Oh yeah, yeah Scott had the run on him. Well, maybe a little bit harsh. And a man as he throws his arms up in uh, frustration. I mean, Sunderland have deserved it. Another header from Scott, and that one glanced over the bar. Jeez, okay. It's only 2 1 with a goal that's allowed. Show me something else in the second half. Cox is certainly going to have to uh, come off. Vale isn't playing very well. Neither is Cox, actually. But Cox can't do the full 90. Uh, Brooking in field to Twine. Out back to Brooking. He's cut back on his favourite foot. And Twine has slotted that in at the near post. The linesman shot up the wing there with the, uh, the sun following him. It was an extraordinary piece of timing from the advertising board. Uh, but yes, we've got ourselves back into this match and Twine has been so often our creative force has found some space in the box and he has slotted that home and there they go, there's the sun chasing the linesman unleash some sort of solar flare on the on him as the uh, the little thing finished there and they've hit the bar maybe uh, right, let's think about making some substitutions for the particularly tired amongst us uh, okay, so we know Cox can't play a full game. Uh, Rodell Richards or Presley? Let's bring Presley on. Richards is, to be, to be honest, absolutely shattered. Shouldn't really be on the bench. 
especially after the bout of flu he's had. He's probably infected half of the uh, squad. Smith is particularly tired, so we'll bring on Cornelius as well. And we'll save a sub in the hutch in case things get a little bit hairy later on. So here we go into the last 20 minutes. The, the, the health and fitness of our players is really getting, I'm saying up there, I'm up there, I mean obviously down there, and that's an interesting passage of play there. Why would roll it out to Carty just to hoof up front and give it straight back, and now we're in trouble. Huggins, oh he's got a free header at the back stick again, Scott, and is that a manqua? Beaten again. I mean, I'm going to forgive him for the first one. Can I forgive him for this? I don't think I can. I'm sure his rating is going to be poor. The fact that he seems to have been at fault for two of the goals here. But let's see. I mean, there's, I think there's an argument. For, oh, was number five playing him on? It looked like they were an argument for offside at first. Are we even going to get a replay? No. I mean, the ones that are borderline, let, let's not give a replay, shall we? And provide complete confirmation either way yet the ones that are miles on side we'll give them a replay put some doubt in the poor manager and fans head and is that given a penalty oh god it's a hat-trick isn't it it's not Jarosh has stopped the hat-trick going in and then walking away of the match ball so that's at least something it does give us 10 minutes let's give the team a shout encourage the entire team come on boys Let's bring on Herbie Kane for the last five minutes to see if he can uh, provide one killer pass. It's all we want at this stage is one killer pass off him. Vale has had a poor game at 6.3, hasn't he? So a 3 2 defeat. I mean, uh, yeah. Can't be too harsh on them, but I mean. You're never happy with a defeat. You're never happy with the fact that we're, our fitness is at shocking levels due to injuries. But there it is. So uh, MK Duns under MK Duns MK Duns under 18s winning the FA Youth Cup third round, a 4-3 extra time win. AB Bullen is continuing his recent good form. Uh, 18 appearances, 10 goals from a, a winger slash striker. So that's good. Uh, Chris McAnally is, I think, the one who was at the club before uh, and I joined her. He might have come from him last year and he's very highly rated. The issue is we don't really play with wingers anymore. So I think I've got him trained, training as, yeah, an attacking midfielder. I'm going to retrain him as an attacking midfielder. So hopefully he can pull through and uh, maybe be, be a player for us there. So there you go. Uh, do you ever see Declaring that. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I uh, said so please click a like at the end of the uh, video uh, and hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really does help me out. Uh, we'll say we'll come back. I think we said didn't we to the uh, the third round whenever that is. Uh, is it not on yet? For some reason it's not. It's usually some part in January. Oh no, it is it's there. So the Cardiff game. We'll come back for uh, maybe, oh, but it's going to be Cardiff and the Battle of Wimbledon Common again, isn't it? The two games will come for us. There's, there's a good chunk to play offline. I'm, I'm kind of conscious I want to try and kick on as soon as possible with the impending kind of release of FM23. Uh, I, I really want to at least get, I mean, the, the original goal was to get into the Premier League and either win the league or the European Cup. It might be tempered a little bit uh, with the release in two, it's, it's two months that it comes out, I guess. So, you know, if real life uh, commitments don't, you know, hold me back a little bit then hopefully I can uh, crack on with at least you know four or five more seasons of this uh, so yeah I will play quite a few games offline and I'll pick it up for the Cardiff game in the FA Cup and then the Wimbledon game for the Battle of Wimbledon Common at the end of January so again thank you for, thank you for watching really do appreciate it and I shall see you soon stay safe thank you bye